Welcome to the presentation on SSL in Netcall Omnibus 8.1. In this example, the primary object server will be the CA server. The object server names will be used to define the SSL certificates for the object servers. In the key store file, OmniKDB, the CA certificates will always be required, the object server certificate being held for object server installations. In the primary object server certificate, both the label and common name use the object server's name. It is important to use a correct country code in the SSL certificates. The SSL port is defined in the omni.dat file. It is best to only define the SSL port. Once the object server is running, it is this port that is seen in netstat. In this case, port 7777. If you define the non-SSL port and the SSL port, then both ports listen. The risk is that the connection may also be non-SSL. Therefore, always define only the SSL port when SSL is required. If you need to use both, you can force clients to access one or other. If necessary, create secondary names for SSL and non-SSL object server definitions. Clients access the aggregation layer using the virtual object server name. The aggregation's bidirectional gateway configuration does not require any special configuration. The collection layer gateways need to access both aggregation object servers. This is achieved by using the common names property for the SSL certificates. Setting both common names in the gate.writer.commonNames property allows the collection layer gateways to connect to either object server. The probes can also connect to both aggregation object servers. In the probes case, each connection is defined uniquely using the server and server backup properties. Provided the key store file holds the CA certificates for the object servers, the probe will be able to connect. To allow Web GUI to connect to the aggregation object servers, the NCW data source definitions.xml file needs to specify SSL and the object server's SSL port. The object server certificates need to be added to the Web GUI server trust store using the WebSphere administration console. The Sybase JDBC drivers need to be enabled for SSL the object server's authentication. Then the SSL port can be defined using confvmm4ncos.sh tool. For the updates to take effect, the web GUI server needs to be restarted. 